the preface whoops, is the whole reason. From the time of my first spiritual awakening, I've understood that the most significant sorrow in the human soul is the sense of separation and the lack of understanding of any significance in one's life. Many feel a deep sense of isolation, feel separate from their families, from others, and from their own souls. And therefore, from the source of that which manifested their being. This condition is the ultimate spiritual malady known as soul sickness, our seeming inability to feel at one with the omnipresence is at the heart of the existential dilemma and not feeling that we belong here or anywhere else. The point of my life's work was made vividly poignant for me during a conference in Israel for peace in the Middle East through yoga just outside Jerusalem to which I was an invited delegate when the master of ceremonies told us the story of his visit to an old people's home, he said the talk he was about to give went out the window when an old lady rolled up to him in a wheelchair and asked piteously, like a little child, please, have you come to take me home? He was devastated. And as he said these words, I was overcome with a powerful rush of emotion. My throat choked, tears filled my eyes, and I vividly recalled a scene at the age of 13 when my father had taken me to visit an orphanage. While he talked to the director, a little boy had sidled up to me, put his hand in mine, and pleadingly asked, Uncle, have you come to take me home? I always choke when I think of this. And at the time, I was stricken to the heart. Because I even felt like an orphan in my own home. I was powerless to do anything for this poor, lonely little boy. But his request had unknowingly burned deep into my soul. At that moment, as the Master of Ceremonies spoke, it all came back to me. Suddenly, I saw and I felt the connections. Rising, my hands trembling, I took the microphone and I shared my story with 600 people in the audience with tears streaming down my face, having made the sudden discovery that ever since, I had dedicated to the rest of my life to taking people home. And this book is one of the ways I hope to achieve it. <laughs>